While obvious to some, what's actually happening behind all these AI art posts isn't always super clear to many. AI art, as a generic term, refers to any art created with the assistance of artificial intelligence-based tools. This could be a massive, broad envelope, as most of my videos and thumbnails utilize AI-based tools in Adobe Photoshop and DaVinci Resolve, among other things. But for the purposes of this exploration, we're focusing on the subsection of this with AI-generated art. Imagery, where the primary or an important image generation step is done by the AI program. Computer generative art is nothing new. Its concepts go back to ancient philosophers, its origins to Ada Lovelace's interest in creative coding and practical usage in the early computing times. Most recognizably notable being tools like fractal generators, which I remember using in the super early 2000s and the processing program. These were kind of like the digital companion to analog glitch art tools that I like to use. Processing has created some amazing works of art and fractals have inspired so many different art styles entirely, including most of the CGI world building in films like Guardians of the Galaxy 2. AI generated art takes that concept and instead of purely relying on mathematical equations and formulas to just draw general things, it also uses machine learning, the basis for what we call artificial intelligence, to try to create more true to life images rather than purely, you know, abstract concepts like fractals or noise. Noise is, however, incredibly relevant. AI art generation gets super technical and nerdy, but thankfully the high level explanation is simple enough that anyone can understand it. It's almost exactly how our brains function, just more limited and computerized. AI art programs primarily consist of two base programs to do the background to start making works of art, clip and diffusion. Clip is just image classification, sorting of what is in an image, what it represents, grading it on a scale of which category it falls into, and so on. There's a ton of approaches to this and algorithms involved, but that's the basic idea. Anyone who's ever done any basic data entry work has done something similar. And we all do this within our brains just by learning about the world and assigning language to everything. I watch my toddler do this every day, and it's just fascinating to see the human mind develop as it experiences the world for the first time. Same thing with computers. Diffusion is really interesting and is how the art is made. Diffusion more directly involves machine learning, where it trains the algorithm to create images. It takes images of known objects, say a cat, blurs it to oblivion, or diffuses it, and then figures out the required steps, maths, and such to take that blurry noisy mess and remove the noise to still create an image of a cat. The machine is trained, and thus learns, by rating how well it creates a cat. Not the exact image of a cat that it started with, but just a recognizable cat. Then the actual artistry stage, when you, the user, asks for an image of the cat, it uses everything it has learned about drawing a cat from noise and produces the image you request. This directly parallels how the human brain works when drawing an image. You spend your entire life taking in and processing images and understandings of what a cat is. All of that combines together into a giant blurry mess of noise in your brain that represents your knowledge of the subject, the cat, and then you use that knowledge to create a vision in your head of how you want a cat to look and use whatever artistry skills you may have to then turn that vision into an image in the medium of your choice. The biggest difference between the two, however, is the life experiences. We all have vastly different data sets that we're trained on via our lived experiences and the worldviews that we have, the feelings and memories that we attach to those images in our heads, and how we want to express them in the images that then we, we create as a result. 